All right, so <laughs> giant form was an absolute nightmare, but it's over now. I don't have to think about it anymore. And we can move on to a stage that I'm actually pretty excited for, which is stage 24, transformation boost. So with that said, let's grab a STR cooler friend here. Let me just check the links. Uh, perfect, fully maxed out, great uh, skill orbs as well. So definitely a good choice. And the team is double STR coolers, is final form cooler, tech golden Frieza, the uh, STR super Janemba, the newly extremely awakened AGL baby Janemba, and finally the tech transforming Frieza. So basically a mostly wicked bloodline team with the two Janembas slash baby Janemba. And uh, the items are the same as always. So there we go. Let's do it. So as far as rotations go, I do want to get the Janemba and baby Janemba together as soon as we can. And the other one will be probably the Fizz Cooler and the Transforming Frieza. So our rotations are a little bit whack right now, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. So I'm going to keep... I think my cooler in the rotation because it is slightly better offensively. Although that's a lot of attacks in that first slot. Uh, 200,000 defense is good, but I don't know, man. That's like literally 10 attacks in that first slot. Okay, not 10, but six or seven. So um, we're obviously gonna pop the Whis. I'm still kind of concerned. But I guess we gotta do this. Unless I put the Fizz Cooler there. But then one of the coolers is not gonna get links, and that's no good either. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Let's go for, uh, I guess let's go for Tien. And we'll just keep targeting Tien until we kill him. So we only have to worry about two enemies. And fingers crossed we don't get supered like twice in the first slot, because that would be very, very bad for us. I think we'll be okay though. That's one super. Gonna do 118k. I can live with that. I can live with that. Yeah, I'm gonna assume that this run is gonna be much. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Two supers. That's it a little bit more, but it's still not too bad. Um, yeah, I'm gonna assume that this stage is gonna be a, a lot less of a headache. Than the last one was just because we have much better units much more broken much much more broken units in this team compared to the giant form team um that last video was probably like the most tense i've ever been honestly in a uh dokkan video man like i obviously beat it we we obviously got through it but it probably took at least a couple years off my life so uh, if you guys missed it, feel free to go check it out. It was actually a really fun run. It's just, it was really nerve wracking, man. It was like one of the closest like victories I've probably ever had on this channel. I can think of maybe one other example where like, you know, we, we, we won, but it was like very, very close. Um, but yeah, I was, I was sweating buckets, man. It was, it was bad. Go check it out, the giant form run. But for now, let's focus on this one, which is transformation boost. And like I said, these units are just so much more powerful than the giant form units. It's nice to have like some some damage. <laughs> That's the main thing. Like the, the giant form units are so uh, weak offensively. And it took like 30 minutes to get through the entire stage, which is a long time for Super Battle Road, right? If you guys are hearing music in the background, that's from the water tower thing. It's it's very proud when it finishes eating the water, so it like sings a song. Anyways, uh, ooh, we got baby Janemba. We got baby Janemba. Should I keep him in rotation? I'm thinking we do. Wait, what did I do? What did I do with the Janemba in the other rotation? I think I kept him actually. So maybe we should do this. So we can get them together as soon as we can. That makes sense, right? It does make sense. Okay, so let's put the Fizz Cooler in front first. I'm going to pop an Icarus. 
Uh, his defense is at 196,000, which is solid. It's solid. And we'll go for... Uh, let's go for 17. We'll go for 17 first, since the STR cooler has type advantage. And... Ooh. And not get a super with baby Janemba. But he does have a high chance to dodge, so... We just need him to dodge, basically. 176k, alright. Alright, well that wasn't a lot of fun, but... As long as the 18 doesn't super our STR cooler, I still feel, feel pretty good about this rotation. If she does super him... We could be in trouble. He might be in some trouble. Yeah, oh my god, okay. I mean, it's just as likely that she supers in the third slot, in which case, maybe Janemba will probably dodge that, right? Right? Okay, he didn't dodge, but that's okay. He has a high chance to dodge, no? Unless I made that up. Did I make that up? Yeah, no, high chance of evading enemies' attacks. Okay, so we just got unlucky. That's fine. Uh, let's heal up a bit here. I'm gonna pop up Mr. Snake. And... Let's put, uh, Janemba in the first slot. Uh, this is actually a good rotation. We shouldn't have it too many issues. Defensively here. That's one dodge. That's two. And every time he dodges, his dodge chance goes higher and higher, so it's much more likely he's gonna dodge the next attack after each subsequent dodge, right? So we should dodge these last. Oh, never mind. I mean, we didn't dodge the last attack, but as you can see, he got. He's he's very very tanky, right? So like, even a attack from the Android 18 who has type advantage did double digits. So, STR Janemba was definitely a good call. I just want to see him with the baby Janemba, though. I haven't really had a chance to use them together too much, but I would imagine they make a really good combination, right? Alright, uh, we gotta use something here, I guess. You know what, I want to save the damage reduction items, so let's just go for an Aider. I think that's good enough. That, that, that feels good enough. That feels good enough. Um, we will take out 17 first. So that the uh, STR cooler is not taking any attacks this turn. And then Golden Frieza should be able to handle any attacks that Android 18 throws at him. With the damage reduction, he should be fine. So This turn will be good. Can we get one additional super? Cannot. That's okay. Ooh, some good damage there. I like that. I like that. Okay, so we finally have Janemba and baby Janemba together. It took a while. It really did. But now, we can see what this duo, this combo looks like. Let's get it. Give me some dodges. That's one. That's two. And 2.26 million attack. Now keep in mind, this is a 55% baby Janemba. So if this guy had dupes, it would be even more impressive. But at 55%, I gotta say, he's he's shown me a lot. Um, a lot of things to be impressive, impressive about. No. <laughs> that was not English. A lot of things to be impressed by already at 55% with no dupes, you know? So if you guys have him with dupes, then congratulations. I'm very jealous because he is really... Legitimately one of the best heroes units out of the entire set in my opinion. He's probably like top five. I would say 
So uh, yeah, good showing from him there. Uh, we're gonna need something. Let's pop a Whis to start. We have four items right now though, so we don't really have to worry about um, running out of items at any point, but I do have some concerns about the uh, Fizz Final Form Cooler. Um, you know, because Ultimate Gohan is SDR, and we know that these single enemy stages, these single enemy fights, are always pretty tough. Because they have like a ton of attack, they have a ton of defense, a ton of HP. So we gotta be very careful here. I don't wanna get overconfident, even though this run has been very smooth so far. It's it's been going about as well as you can ask for. But nonetheless, things could turn at any moment. That was actually some good tanking from STR Cooler. I couldn't ask for any more than that. Take a super from Gohan for 160k, was it? Pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Ooh, additional super. Give me a crit, though. I need to see some crits, because otherwise... Ah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> He's not doing much damage without the crit, but when we get the crit, he is... absolutely... wrecking Gohan. Okay, you know what? We're doing good. He's about 50% there. About 50% there. Now, I am going to be extra cautious and uh, pop a Aider. Just because I don't want to take any risks here. And I think we can leave Baby Janemba in that first slot. Um, There we go. Let's get it. Okay, no dodge, but... You know, obviously not a lot of damage still. Uh, good super. Good tanking. Good dodging. We're chilling. Yo, this guy... <clears throat> th th this is kind of crazy. This man, the baby Janemba, is hitting harder than my STR Janemba, who is rainbowed. <laughs> Right? I mean, I know STR Janemba is not really, like, supposed to be a damage dealer, but it's a 55% baby Janemba non-Dokan Fest Heroes unit versus a rainbowed Extremes the Awakened Dokan Fest um, Super Janemba, right? Like, it's, it's pretty wild. <laughs> it's pretty wild. All right, now my question is, do I pop this transformation, this active skill for cooler? Of course I do. Of course I do. That's not even a question, actually. <laughs> I was definitely going to do that. I think he has the potential to solo Gohan right here, right now. If we get a couple of additionals, he probably will finish off Gohan by himself, which is, which would be awesome. So let, let's see that. Let's see that. Um... I'm a pop an Icarus, and I think that will keep us safe. And uh, I mean, yeah, we should be good. <laughs> we we should be okay. And you know what? I just noticed we can't get a super off with uh, the Fizz Cooler, but he he probably won't get to attack anyways, right? Whoa. We could have gotten Doka. We could have gotten a Doka attack. I just realized, and we missed it. Well, that's unfortunate. But nonetheless, if we get three supers, Gohan's definitely dead. If we get two supers, he might still be dead. Mm, maybe not. Well, he only got one super, anyways. But it's okay. Uh, I guess we'll give the um, Doka attack to Baby Janemba. Most likely. And he should be able to finish off Gohan next turn. <laughs> Ooh, we can transform a second cooler though, but I'm not going to do that. We're just going to let Baby Janemba go to work. And just finish the job for us. Finish this stage for us. Stage 4. Out of 10, guys. Got about 2.57 mil attack. That's got to be enough. <sighs> I 
And there you have it. There you have it. Baby Janemba is awesome. Uh, I'm pretty confident in saying he's a top 5 heroes unit. Even with like the Super Saiyan 3s getting the Extreme Z Awakenings and you know, Boobity being really good, uh, Toa being really good, like don't get me wrong, a lot of these units are really good, but Baby Janemba has been just ridiculously impressive to me. And if you guys haven't had a chance to use him, um, you know, assuming you have him, that is, then awaken him, man, give him a shot, because he, he makes a big difference. He really does, especially for Super Battle Road and Extreme Super Battle Road. As you saw, he was arguably the, the MVP of this run we just had. So um, there you have it, guys. That is Transformation Boost, Stage 4, 4 down, 6 to go. I might do one more later today, but if not, then I'll see you guys tomorrow for, I believe, what's next? Oh, Ginyu Force. I think Ginyu Force is next, so that should be a good time. But uh, as always, if you guys like today's video, make sure to like the damn video. Uh, sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.